scariest environment imaginable. That's all you had to say. Hello everyone, the Ranks is here. Welcome back to No Man's Sky, episode 146. Where when we left off in the last episode, we had just identified a manufacturing facility we were going to fly to. And I realized with an active storm and the fact that we're in need of money, we should probably go ahead and drive that way. Look at the frequency of these storm crystals on this planet. Look at this! Whoa! What happened? It was nighttime just a minute ago. Wow, the sun came up fast! Alright, well, this is easy money. We're not passing up easy money. Wow, a whole stack in one cluster. Okay, so if we take the Nomad there, it is a four minute drive, but... But the money... Yes, I concur, Doctor, we are going to get some money. Ugh. I almost want to turn around and get more, but I'm like, no, we should keep at least trying to move forward. Towards our destination. Otherwise, we're going to end up halfway there with like three minutes to go and the storm will be the storm will be over. Look at them all. And this is in the system with our toxic base. This is out of control. You can't you literally can't look in any direction without seeing multiple sets that have multiples in each set. Rex, word for detected. I could probably just spend like a couple of hours here off camera and, and have all the money in the world I could ever need. It's not really how I want to play though, so that's not what we're going to do. I'm just saying it's it's a possibility. If I wasn't recording this, that would probably be what I do. It'd be to just sit here and not stop farming storm crystals on this planet until I had hundreds of millions of units. Look at these mountains. Oh wow. You could build a pretty neat base up on one of these. Oh, there's like a massive plateau over there. And there's not really any others. It kind of stands out on its own. Let's go check it out. Okay, now we're starting to hit some of those sections that are down at sea level. Little inland sea here. It's like, this water is blue, but it might as well be red. No, this water is blue, though. Like, blue, blue. Oh, that's kind of neat. Now I'm starting to wonder if I should put a base. No, because I have a base. I have a base in this system. Let's go ahead and learn another Corvaxian word. The burning gas clouds. I was hoping maybe the weather would pick back up while we were en route, but it doesn't look like it's going to. Nice. Look at that plateau. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this manufacturing center, and then we're going to bounce up to the top of that plateau and just take in the. Taking the view. Let's 
let's go ahead, let's call our ship over here. Get ourselves a nice manual save. The Kosher Sands. As some unknown item is being manufactured here. Well, we're going to figure out what it is because we're going to get ourselves one. All right. Save failed. Tech blueprint data corrupted. Reconstruction probability high. Well, we understood every word in that sentence. A fragmented file has frozen systems. The machine is stuck in a loop trying to open it. Its deletion could free up the outpost, but the file would be lost forever. Reconstruction probability high. Well, then let's attempt the file reconstruction then. The file manages to reconstruct. Fusion Igniter, a highly advanced piece of technology for use in the next generation of power plants. Producing a fusion core requires both intricate scientific skills and complex industrial processes. Portable reactor, quantum processor, and geodesite. That sounds like a high dollar one to me. Let's just take a look here. Oh, there it is. 15.6 million units. We're getting there. We're starting to learn the ropes of how money is made. Incoming storm. Ooh, incoming storm detected. Alright, let's scan for one more. One more. Because I don't know if the other systems are going to be as generous with their storm crystals. Uh, supply Depot. That's okay. It's alright. Try again. We don't care about that. Try again. Try again. Quickly, while the storm is active. Yes. I approve. I accept these terms. And it's not really the same direction as our... Uh, oh, seven minutes by foot. Excellent. I still want to go on top of this plateau. Let's go. Up, up, up we go. Solar vine up here, that's pretty cool. Oh, look at this! Look at this! We have to build something up here, don't we? I mean, a racetrack, a base, something? Hold on, there's a cave here. Sort of natural cave. That... does it dead end? It looks like it does dead end. Okay, well we're wasting good storm time. No! No! Look how ridiculously high up this is, just overlooking everything. Let's... I don't know if I'm going to regret this or not. I really don't. But I feel like we have to build a base here. We have to do something here. This is interesting. Or maybe a beacon is what I'm thinking of. Yeah, you know what? Uh, no, because I want to... Either way, let's claim the base. We can always come back and unclaim it later and figure stuff out, but I want to claim this. This is pretty cool. Ooh. 
does it have a name? Reade base. Burning. Oh no, how about pedestal to the sun? Did I not hit the accept button? No, I did. Pedestal to the sun. Okay. Now, let's do it. Ooh, here we go. Here we go. I don't know where we're gonna... Ooh. Oh. Okay. That was a little, a little haphazard. Look at that thing up there. Hmm. And I know the view is all clobbered during the storm because it's an extreme planet, but... Whoa! And just like that, it's nighttime again? What's going on with this planet? It kind of did the same thing. It was like, okay, now it's nighttime. Wow. Right. We're not even going to stop for the dihydrogen even though we need it. We're going to try to get as many storm crystals as we can while maintaining the direction of travel that we want. Okay, well, as long as the storm is going, we're going to sort of circle around this place. I don't know if there's going to be value of putting a base up there. I don't know if there's ever a reason I would need to... If I'm ever going to come back, or... I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I had to claim it somehow. It was too epic to just leave alone. I bet on a clear day, with no firestorm, the view from up there is just astounding. In fact, I sort of wish the weather had been cooperating. I could have got a picture from up there. I guess we're going to go ahead and leave the storm be for now. I don't want to lose sight of this place. Um, nope, stand by. If I can see the crystal from the front of the door, then I'll be able to see the building from the crystal, right? I could have called my starship to it. But look at them all. I just, I can't stop. This planet is money central. Okay, well, they don't have the large clusters that they had on the ice planet, though. Getting them four and five at a time. I mean, they have some, but a lot of these are maybe onesie twosie now over here. So I'm leaving my exocraft behind as sort of a marker for where the manufacturing facility is. In case you're wondering why I'm on foot. Gosh, how many is that? Wow. So much money. Might as well unlock this while we're here. Okay, I don't want to get too far away from everything. I think we've chased enough money for now.
Alright, let's go in the front door. This storm seems to be lasting a while, so it won't be a problem if we if we want to continue, but I don't want to... That's the thing, is I don't want to sit here forever. We have other planets to explore. We need to be on our way. And there's the storm clearing, so... Virus detection warning. File extracting valuable data. An unknown program has hijacked the terminal. It looks more alien than expected. The code is enmeshed with vital research drives. I can quarantine it before damage is done. Quarantine the unknown process. The virus is removed. The facility's overseers are relieved. Cryopump. Advanced self-regulating hybrid material, the cryopump distributes heat across itself with near-perfect efficiency, making it vital in the creation of thermal regulators. Ah, we actually have many more formulas to learn, it appears. Do we want to go see the crashed freighter? I don't really want to see the crashed freighter. Let's save and chart, and then let's leave this planet. As fun as this planet is, the Anzac Sector is our last stop. We're out of here. Oh, watch that landing gear. All right. I thought maybe we would check out the oceans on this planet, but... Yeah, let's... Okay, we'll we'll just pop down for a second. We won't waste too much time, but... I wish there was a way you could scan from the surface and know if you're talking about deep ocean or not. There's a pretty significant difference between shallow seas and deep ocean. storm and I can't see anything okay whoa did you see that wow yeah that's some deep ocean let's go ahead and land we've got to see this we've got to take a minute and um, what do they say smell the roses sure we're on all the right settings here for our multi-tools. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Wow. Okay. I knew there was a reason I was doing this. I was like, why did I want to come down here so specifically again? Because we have an upgrade for this exocraft. There we go. Three engines. And that, I guess, is as good as we're going to get. Although we still don't have any way to boost, even though... That's fuel efficiency, even though we get boost speed from our upgrade. So I don't know. As much as I don't want to deal with predators, I would like to scan some of these life forms down here. So let's do that. There 
you go. Some little fish. Some more little fish. These are like angler fish. Oh, there's the jellyfish. I, I appreciate the work they did on the on the abyss update, but I feel like the aquatic creatures could use another little boost. Let's see about submerged ruins. Seven minutes. I do not accept these terms. Where is my starship? Three engine upgrades, or at least traveling at a medium speed. Jeez. Everything can be so calm under the water, and then you come up to the surface, and it's just worst, worst possible environment imaginable. That's all you had to say. Scariest environment imaginable. That's all you had to say. Yeah, if it's 20 seconds by our souped-up starship, then we were not taking the submarine there. Whoa, except... No islands nearby? Oh, wait, no, here's one. Um, that's still relatively close. Yes, it is. Alright. You can do it. Small landing pad. Gotta stick that landing. All right. Now for the Nautilon. Thank you. Ooh. And it's actually deep. A little bit of a coral reef here. Wow, we're still 45 seconds away. Okay. It's not too bad. It's got some depth to it. it looks like it's in some kind of crater over here. Ooh. There's a cave over there. Oh my. That looks like a pretty neat picture, actually. I approve. Let's see what we get here. I hear a voice, soft but insistent, growing ever louder as I linger before that ancient altar. It flows closer, the water rushing about me, demanding that I listen to its tale. I accept the waves. I went back to the shore this morning, just for a walk to clear my head. I trod the dunes as usual, my heater turned up in contrast to the freezing winds. But then I saw it. Whoa, what planet were they on? A clear glass sphere, picked out by the glint of the rising sun, utterly perfect, no color to taint it, no chips to spoil it, its perfect geometry. I took it, of course. I've marveled at it all day, watching how the light changes as it passes through, filtered and pure. I pull back and the roar of the ocean subsides. As the light of the ruin fades, I find an ancient key. Hmm. 
Well, they only give us one key, though. So, we just gotta pick where we use it on. And I picked this one. And a pearl offering. It's okay. We have one of those. Right. Oh, we don't. You're kidding me. Nope, there's one. Okay. Ah, uh, messed that one up. Ooh, yeah, I don't know. We need to activate our micro bubble gas generator here. There we go. All right, now we've had our underwater adventure pearl offering. And we got a barnacle encrusted gemstones. Ah, 200,000 units. It's a gamble. It's a gamble. But it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. Fuel required. I think we'll wait to give that hydrothermal fuel cell into the engine because they're a little taxing to make. Oh, well, the water of the ocean almost looks sky blue at this point. Could be neat to have an ocean base here, but why would we do that? If we're going to put a base here, it's going to be up on the pedestal to the sun. That thing was epic. Look at the streaks in the sky. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Let us depart. Please. Okay, now we're out of the atmosphere. Let's see what the uh, this moon is about. Hold on, I saw the moon for a second. It was on the planet with our base. Right, so there's the moon. Let's see what sort of moon it is. Undiscovered, it says. Hold on. Paradise Moon with activated indium on it. You don't say. This is our this is our planet with our yeah our toxic base. All right, so we're gonna head over to this. Ah, uh, wait, no, 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 no. I think we should do that last, shouldn't we? Let's be prudent here. That is a neat little planet. on that one. This whole system is, is pretty cool. We picked a good system. Well, this is where we're going next. The shell-strewn planet. Way, way out here. Sell that. Well, I'm a need for that. Or not sell. Destroy, rather. You know what I meant. So the cryo pump requires hot ice and thermic condensate. So what does hot ice require? Enriched carbon and nitrogen salt. We have a ton of nitrogen salt and enriched carbon. Would be cryo pump and living glass. Radon and condensed carbon. I feel like we already have the infrastructure set up, the infrastructure set up to make a good bit of that. 
So that's going to be on a radioactive base and our ice base. We could get a bunch of radon. We actually don't even need to go to the bases. We can just pull up the storage. That'll give us an idea of what sort of bases and outposts we need. No, we're not going after that ship. Let's make planet fall. Okay, there's a lot of particulate in the atmosphere. Some very large billowy clouds. Oh, visibility is incredibly low. I'm having trouble seeing anything. Oh, pull up! Pull up! This does appear to be an anomalous planet, but why is the visibility so horrible? Could it potentially be extreme? Oh, surely not. Let's land. With a brown sky. Indetectable burning. Okay, so these, these planets are indeed different from each other. Because I don't believe the last one I was on had this sort of blowing dust. And this oddly beige sky. This is not one of my more favorite anomaly planets. The decorations from here are sort of neat. But... Oh, wait. This is an anomaly planet, isn't it? Stand by. Yeah, one, one of one species discovered it is. I wish I could just tell it to, like, leave this mission locked, please. Oh, the weather stopped. So it's like it was a storm, but without a hazard associated with it. Because now we have much better visibility. I mean, maybe some people might be into this sort of place, but this really isn't doing it for me. In fact, I normally am a, I can find the beauty in everything kind of person, but no, 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 no. I can't leave this planet fast enough. Let's go see that paradise moon. Now that we've flown all the way over here. Fugitive attack ship elite bounty. Nah. We're not there yet. Okay. Let's go like we're going to go to our base, only we're not. We're going to stop by the moon and then we'll swing by our base at the end when we're ready to leave this system. Again, the only reason we're exploring planets and systems that we might have skipped when we were of a singular focus looking for specific types of planets is so that we don't advance the purge timer any further, because I'm pretty sure something happens, and I would like to get to a certain point before that happens. I don't know 100% what's going to happen, but I have, a, I have an idea. There have been some insinuations. Quite a long drive. 
Oh, you're gonna try to scan me while I'm pulling into the space station? Of course they found valuable cargo. That doesn't mean they can fight me in here. Exactly. Now what are you gonna do? You can do nothing. Ha ha ha. Alright, so let's just sell our storm crystals while we're here, right? We might as well. I can't see a reason not to at this point. Just to clear up some space. 5.4 million. Ka-ching, ching, ching. Bling a bling bling bling. All right. Back to the Paradise Moon. I don't really want to go to my base. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to cruise around the planet a little bit. to get to where we can see our see the moon. So out of four planets and one moon, three of the planets are extreme and the moon is extreme. The only the only planet not extreme is the anomalous planet, the shell strewn planet. It's pretty crazy. This uh, blue star system. like the moon should be visible here, so it must just be around the cusp of this planet. Let's lock in our trajectory a little tighter, and it should start to break around the horizon here any moment. I'm starting to see it. Yep. Looks like it's sort of trapped in the ring zone. Oh, is there water on it? Is that water or, or grass? No, that's grass. It's hard to tell. I don't think I've seen a moon that's intersected by the rings before. Or no, that's a shadow on the rings? it looks green. What is going on? How peculiar. This might actually be our picture right here. I don't even know if that's going to come out. That's really, really interesting. So it looks almost like... Hold on. I think we should cross through the rings here. So it's like on one side of the rings, everything is yellow, and on the other side, it's green. Shenanigans. Look at those rings! But the parent planet... Okay, okay, hold on. Uh, we've got to get the Vista just right here. So we stay on this side of the rings and we come over here. No, it looked green, but it's not. It's got some sort of tropical, tropical storm. Whoa, and now it's nighttime? And now it's daytime. <laughs> Hold up. 
It's got to be a function of this system, right? Like, where is the sun, actually? It's almost like you could just use the rings as a ramp into space. Oh, now our visibility is going to be clobbered. Okay, fine. Let's cross over the Terminator to the night side. Let's see what this building is. Whoa, whoa. Not so low in the jungle. We're going to get caught in the trees. Up. Pull up. Whoop, whoop. Pull up. There we go. Okay, it's a trading outpost. Thank goodness. Oh, no. Land. Just like that, we're on the night side of the planet with blistering floods. Look at those rings. Oh, wow. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Nope, I'm not humming along with you. Sorry. No, I'm not accepting your quest. Alright, you know what? I'm not even going to talk to the rest of you. Let's see about getting a manufacturing facility here so we can cruise around on the surface and get a feel for this place. Looks like there's some sort of building just up above us. And that's not the one it acknowledged, so that's nine minutes away. Alright, now let's summon our Nomad. And then we'll delete that. Okay. So before we do anything else... See, now the grass looks sort of green. I think we go up this way and we see... Whoa. Oh, if we can get our vehicle wedged into a narrow little claustrophobic cave. No, oh, we go this way and see if we can see what this building is up here. Look at that. Hmm. Is this moon really paradise? Because it's incredibly rugged terrain sweltering storms and awkward day-night cycle as it's wrapped up in the home planet's rings it makes me question what their view of paradise is. It does have these large grassy plains. But we're not even in a storm right now and it's just so much rain. Okay, well, I don't see a nearby building registered anywhere. And if I can't see an unknown building, then we're just going to call it and go back to the manufacturing facility. Alright, looks like that's what we're doing anyways. I don't really see any storm crystal, dormant storm crystals on this planet. But it does say it has extreme weather and... Yep. I, don't, I almost really don't like the nighttime side of this planet, though. No, it's got to be like an eclipse. Look, because... Yeah, it's like we were just right in the spot where the planet was casting a shadow onto the moon. Otherwise, it's daytime, right? Oh, wow, I should have checked the time of day. I looked at my clock. There's no storm crystals here, though. 
that much is obvious. Whoa, careful, careful. Less than a minute to go across the wide open prairies here. And then here are the jungles. So look at that. It's yellow in the light, but in the shade, it looks green. So that's why this whole section by the rings looked green. Because it was it was in the shadow of the planet, right? Hey, don't don't start no trouble, there won't be no trouble, Sentinel, please. Alright, let's call our ship. So I think we'll be flying from here on out. There's no storm crystals on this planet. No reason for us to keep driving around at the Nomad, fun as it is. Let's go ahead and save and chart. Hail of Halthu. All right. One, two, three. And smashed open. Ooh, extreme heat damage detected. See, it just says storm. It doesn't say extreme storm. So it's not the same. Unexpected biological blockage detected. Power something network disruption. Small creature is scrambling through the wiring below me. Woken by the security alert. Its choice of nesting location was unwise. It can't regain control until it has been removed from the system. Um, initiate power surge. Right? There you go. The smell of roasted meat wafts up from the systems below. The system is back online. Ah, semiconductor. Advanced material useful in many electronic devices with its own built-in temperature regulator. Marvelous. Closer and closer we get. Let's see if we can do one more here. And then I think we'll be done with this system. Oh, that one didn't really zoom in like it normally does, huh? Or zoom out. But don't tell me it flagged this one. It did. Oh my goodness, it did. Okay. That's fine. Let's fly to another spot on the planet then. We'll relocate ourselves. Not the planet, the moon. Right? So how about outside the rings, shall we? That's weird. It's like asteroids from the rings. Yeah, there's like, oh, there are asteroids in the rings. See, I always felt like that should have been the case, that there should have been asteroids in the rings. And I never felt like I saw them before, so wait a second. So does that put asteroids down here near the surface of the planet? What about right where the rings intersect? Ooh. Oh, it's so bizarre. It's so weird. I can't deal with this. No, no, no. This is... It's an interesting phenomenon, but let's let's depart its vicinity. 
can't handle that. I'm just going to get away from the rings. Please and thank you. Well, so this planet seems to alternate between prairies and jungles. It's not exceptionally mountainous. Ooh. Crashed freighter. Or we have an unknown building over here. Oh, which is a supply depot. Let's land here. Let's just see what they have here. Aronium, Lemium, Magna Gold, Silver, Nitrogen Salt. Wow, so you can really clean up with these low level ingredients that you need to craft the higher stuff by coming to supply depots. They don't really have any enriched carbon, but. That's that's a lot of the stuff we would need, isn't it? Thermic condensate, no. Hot ice was rich carbon nitrogen salt. So I think it, I think there was nitrogen salt here, right? I don't know. At this stage, I don't really want to get into that too much. Let's just do our search for manufacturing facility. We're still getting our blueprints. I want to have all of our options available. Okay, I don't see any buildings. I see the freighter down there. Ten minutes by foot. Yeah, we're walking. That's okay. Or we're not walking. Ooh. Hold up. Got some life forms. Got some trees. Oh, look at that thing. It's like a little Medusa. Nomadic and it eats grass? Okay. No, no. Let's get out. Let's get underway. Oh, easy. Watch the terrain. I've got like no visibility. So let's come in a little slow. Here we go. Okay. Currently in a blistering flood. The Jinkinif. Uh, this guy is going to. Uh, this creature is going to attack me, though. Oh, another one. Yep, another one. Oh, they're pack hunters. No, that's a different creature. Ooh. Does not fear death. Okay, so we found the predators of this planet. Cold blooded. Um. Alright, let's recharge. Sounds good. Oh, should have reloaded. They're like, what are you doing? <laughs> Not hanging out in by the front door. That's for sure. Education blob fun. Something Corvax language backup. Something Gek. Something Viking. 
An enthusiastic guild blob is on screen wearing a mask with a central colored light. It energetically jetpacks around an alien alphabet. The blob makes a demand common element trade vaults open. It says Corvax language backup. But it doesn't tell me It, it doesn't... I don't know. I don't know. I guess we're going to go with... Corvax seems like metal. Like, that would be metal, right? Let's go with pure ferrite. The delighted educational blob teaches me some of the language of the electronic life forms. Yes, very good. I chose wisely. 155 nanites. Corvax word for engaged. Corvax word for finish. Oh. We might be approaching the end of the formulas that are learnable. So. With that being said, I think it's time that we've returned to our base. Let's leave the moon. Let's identify where our base is. It looks like we're going to need to pulse jump to it. And that is going to be where we wrap things up for this episode. This has been episode 146 of No Man's Sky. Thank you so much for joining me. I do hope you've had a good time watching. Because as always, I've had a good time playing. Be sure to come back next time as we travel to yet another system and continue to explore and search for those elusive formulas we need to learn. Here we are at our toxicity base. Pretty neat. But until next time, Doesn't look like we're going to get that one to snap on there, does it? Until next time. Ooh, take care.